Hello, my undeadly darlings. It's Teresa, your resident ghost host. And do I have a treat for you. Haunting is crawling out from the shadows, and it's going to be devilishly good. We've got chills, thrills, and stories that'll make you wish the lights stayed on. So join me, won't you? Let's dive into the eerie unknown together. Sleep tight, if you can. Listen to Haunting on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, I'm Bruce Bozzi. On my podcast, Table for Two, we have an unforgettable lunch after unforgettable lunch with the best guests you could possibly ask for. People like Matt Bomer, Emma Roberts, and Colin Jost. Did you say a Caesar salad with lobster? Yeah. Whoa. Our second season is airing right now, so you can catch up on our conversations that are intimate and often hilarious. Listen to Table for Two with Bruce Bozzi on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast. I'm Joe Gatto. I'm Steve Byrne. Together we do the Two Cool Moms podcast, which is a podcast where we help dispense advice to our loyal listeners. Everybody has an issue. Everybody has something that they need help with. Right. And that's where we come in. Because our moms were cool moms. We like to think that we have inherited their maternal advice. And we try to just do some good. Besides being comedians, we love to help. Guys, bring us your queries. They could be personal questions. They could be serious. They could be lighthearted. Yeah. But know this. We are here for you. Yeah, you could find us wherever you listen to your podcast or on the iHeartRadio app. Hey, this is Justin Richmond, host of the Broken Record Podcast. Every week, I or my co-host, Leah Rose, sit down with the artists you love to get unparalleled creative insight. Our new series is looking at one of the most influential jazz labels ever, Blue Note Records. You'll hear from artists like legendary bassist Ron Carter, singer-songwriter Noah Jones, and guitarist Julian Lodge. Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey fam, I'm Simone Boyce. I'm Danielle Robay. And we're the hosts of The Bright Side, the podcast from Hello Sunshine that's guaranteed to light up your day. Check out our recent episode with dancer, actress, and host of Dancing with the Stars, Julianne Huff, revealing the healing journey behind her new novel, Everything We Never Knew. I am showing up for my younger self, and it is becoming a ripple effect energetically in my life, and that's why I feel so safe now. Listen to The Bright Side from Hello Sunshine on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, guys, time now for today's Strawberry Letter, and if you need advice on relationships, date, work, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your strawberry letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter because we could be reading your letter live on the air just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. Muggle up. Hold on tight. We got it for you. Strawberry Letter. Thank you, Neff. Subject, you ain't my stepmama. Dear Stephen Shirley, I've been dating a man for eight years, and he proposed last month. Shortly after we met, he found out about a two-year-old daughter by a woman he had a one-night stand with. The child's mother was messing with two guys, so of course he took a paternity test. I drove him back and forth to visit his child, which was over three hours away. I was friendly with the child's mother, and his daughter and I became besties. When she came to visit, she stayed at my house, and we did our nails and other girly things the whole weekend. She was a sweetheart. As she got older, her dad visited her more often to attend her soccer games. We were still very close, and she called me all the time to check in and chat with me. Last month, she was at her dad's house when he proposed to me. After he asked me to marry him, she yelled, no, and ran from the room. I went to talk to her, and she said that she loves me as a friend, but she does not want me to marry her dad. She's 11 years old now, so I figured she's old enough to know that marriage was always in the plan for her dad and I. She said, you ain't my stepmama, and you won't ever be my stepmama. I was shocked by her reaction, and what came next? Uh... <laughs> She said that her dad spends the night at her house when he comes to visit her, and he stays in her mom's room. I went and asked my man, and he put his head in his hands and started crying. I FaceTimed the mom, and she told me that my man's been sending mixed signals. She would not confirm or deny that they had sex, 
He swears that he sleeps on the couch. And I know his daughter knows a lot more, but he told me to leave her out of it. She started all of this. So why can't I ask her? You can't ask her crazy because she's a child, okay? You're an adult. Talk to the adults in this situation. Sorry, this 11-year-old uh, told you all that because, of course, she doesn't want you to marry her dad. Uh, you, you have enough information. You have a lot of information. Uh, your your fiancé sleeps uh, at his mom's house, at her mom's house, in her mom's room, according to her, when he's there. And... Uh, the, the one-night stand, mother of the child, the baby mama, may not tell you, she may not confirm or deny that they're having sex. That's, she's tricky like that, but they probably are if he's sleeping in the room. He says he's sleeping in the couch, but he's still sleeping in her house. Why couldn't he get a hotel room, you know, if there's nothing going on? Otherwise, I, I don't understand why he's sleeping in a room. So again, uh, talk to the grown folks. Leave this baby out of it. She, yeah, you know, she said that, and she's upset and everything, and that's where you should leave it. Don't bother her with this. She's only 11 years old. She's not grown. You don't need to be talking to her about this. Your man said leave her out of it. That's his daughter. I think you should take his advice and leave her out of it. Find out what you know from him and the baby mama. Steve? You ain't my step. Always some little smart mouth mm -hmm. kid somewhere calling shots to adults that's trying to make their life better. <sighs> <laughs> Another letter like this. <laughs> well, your man, af after he proposed, found out he had a baby from a woman he had a one-night stand with, took the paternity test, it's his. You would just drive him down there three hours away to, to see this baby. Wonderful child. And you was friendly with the child's mother. I don't know why, but I guess since you're going down there, might as well try and be friendly. <laughs> you know, these things almost never work out, but, you know, congratulations for trying. And uh, the daughter and you became besties. I don't really become friends with kids because they fickle. And the main reason is we ain't got nothing in common. <laughs> I don't give a damn if you do need your nails done. But that don't make us friends. <laughs> so you went on, you got your nails and girly things. Crazy. She was a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And as uh, she got older, the dad visited her more often to uh, go to soccer games and stuff. Y'all still close. Called you all the time to talk. Now, here's where it got tricky. Last month, she was at her dad's house. Now, the guy that done proposed to you, you all obviously have separate places. So she was at her dad's house when he proposed to me. Then he asked you to marry him. She yelled, no, and ran from the room. Then you went to talk to her, and she said she loves me as a friend, but she does not want me to marry her dad. Do you know why she don't want you to marry her dad? Because she has aspirations of your dad, her dad, marrying her mother, and she'll have her two favorite people, which are her parents, in one house. Kids have delusional thoughts like this all the time. So you figure she's 11 years old. She old enough to know that marriage has always been the plan for her dad and I. Well, but you didn't know what was in her plans. Her plans, and she figured, you know, her daddy would get with her mama. Now, she dropped a bomb on you and told you that her daddy stayed in the room with her mama. When we come back, I'm going to tell you why this letter is can all go to hell from this point on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we'll have part two of Steve's response coming up at 23 minutes after the hour. Today's Strawberry Letter subject, you ain't my stepmama. We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, come on, Steve. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter subject, you ain't my stepmama. Uh, this man has a, that has proposed to the letter writer has a daughter from a one-night stand. Mm -hmm. 
turns out it's his. Uh, they had started traveling to visit his child. The woman that wrote this letter would take him three hours away, has had a friendly relationship with the mother, and her and the daughter became besties, and they get their nails done. They have wonderful weekends. The girl has been a sweetheart. Well, as time goes on, he's been spending more time with the daughter because going to her soccer games and stuff. And so he proposed to the letter writer at his house. The letter writer and the man who are engaged live in separate homes. He proposed in front of the girl, will you marry me? The girl said no and ran out the room and said she does not want me to marry her dad. So she's, in, and then I'm telling you the reason she don't want you to marry her dad is because she has plans for her dad and her mama to be married. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. So now, you go in there and try to reason with her, telling her that marriage has always been in the plan for her dad now. She said, you ain't my stepmama, and you won't ever be my stepmama. Well, she's being certain about that, because how you going to be my stepmama if my daddy and my mama get married? See, she 11, so she don't know how to tell you the whole story. She just told you, you ain't going to ever be. And then you got shocked by her reaction, what came there. She said, now let me tell you why I'm saying all this here. Mm -mm -mm. My daddy spends the night at our house when he comes to visit, and he stay in my mom's room. Now here where the letter take a dumb turn. I went and asked my man, and he put his head in his hands and started crying. I be <laughs> Dog, why? Did you do that? <laughs> you disappointed. Dog, <laughs> you couldn't have held it together yeah. until later on that night in the no. bathroom by yourself? No. You could have went out in the car in the garage and had that moment? I understand we done all done some things that made ourselves cry. Ain't that right, J.A. Man? Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> man, you don't all cry. Done things. You don't ever cry. <laughs> but you don't cry in front of them when they come to you with just an accusation. Damn. What you doing in here? They room sleeping, and then he put his hand and started crying. Then she FaceTimed a woman, and she told me that my man has been sending mixed signals. She wouldn't confirm or deny that they had sex. Now he tried to fix it. Now that too late. Now you had your hand in your head in your hand crying, and she done FaceTime your damn girl, and now he he go this his this his fix right here. He swears he sleeps on the couch. It's right. too late for that. <laughs> too late after you cry. After you, you cry. cried. Right. That's like a boy. He what did you did it. No. Why? You can't cry and then The eleven year old don't have her facts over. straight. The couch is in the bedroom. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> they live in a s one bedroom and it's in there. Work it out, Steve. I love and it. And I, you know, I sleep in my drawers, and I don't want my daughter to come out and see me legs all open sleeping on the couch out in there. <laughs> That's why I'm in there. Could have been fixed. I yeah, can't stand her. Fixed. She <laughs> wasn't nothing but a one night stand for me. Right. Yo, learn how to hold yourself together. <laughs> right. Man. Man. Uh, now, get all the way and down. then she says, "I know his daughter knows a whole lot more, but he told me to leave her out of it." She started all this, so why can't I ask her? Shirley told you, why are you talking to an 11-year-old? Ain't she yeah. told you enough? She has enough information. You what got all the information you need. He told you enough. He crying <laughs> with his head in his head. <laughs> Your punk ass. I knew you were going to be mad Dog, this ain't line. the time for that. <laughs> Dog, you cry when you by yourself. <laughs> 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 Come on, yeah. Steve. I love when he's crying. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> What? What? I was just with her. <laughs> Wanted to go that far. She was laying there. She was yeah. rubbing over here. I was. And then she what? kissed me on my neck and she unbuttoned my shirt. Oh, she licked me on my chest, and I ain't know what to do. So I, <laughs> you know, once they 
she licked me on my chest. I ain't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> next thing you know, I was holding her by the back of her head. We, you tell it too yeah. much. <laughs> 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 we started kissing real hard. Yeah, we was just kissing too hard. It was just, was kissing just way too hard. And next thing you know, I was just, oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I had my clothes off and it was <laughs> right across the bed. And I couldn't find my shoe in the morning. Oh, <laughs> you spent the night. Oh, you spent the he night. He always does. The night. But I tried to come out. That's why I was late coming home the next day because I couldn't find my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and then she got a dog. And next thing I know, the dog had took it outside and buried it with the bone. <laughs> That's why I had to take the credit card and buy them new shoes because I had a way to come home because I couldn't right. drive barefoot because the gas pedal get caught between my toes. So <laughs> we got to go. go. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steve, for that reenactment. Uh, post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter. At Steve Harvey FM, okay, on Instagram and Facebook. Coming up at 46 minutes after, Junior with Sports Talk, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello, my undeadly darlings. It's Teresa, your resident ghost host. And do I have a treat for you. Haunting is crawling out from the shadows, and it's going to be devilishly good. We've got chills, thrills, and stories that'll make you wish the lights stayed on. So join me, won't you? Let's dive into the eerie unknown together. Sleep tight, if you can. Listen to Haunting on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Joe Gatto. I'm Steve Byrne. Together we do the Two Cool Moms podcast, which is a podcast where we help dispense advice to our loyal listeners. Everybody has an issue. Everybody has something that they need help with. Right. And that's where we come in. Because our moms were cool moms. We like to think that we have inherited their maternal advice. And we try to just do some good. Besides being comedians, we love to help. Guys, bring us your queries. They could be personal questions. They could be serious. They could be lighthearted. Yeah. But know this. We are here for you. Yeah, you can find us wherever you listen to your podcast or on the iHeartRadio app. Hey, I'm Bruce Bozzi. On my podcast, Table for Two, we have unforgettable lunch after unforgettable lunch with the best guests you could possibly ask for. People like David Duchovny, Jeff Goldblum, and Kristen Wiig. We're doing all the dessert. We're doing all the dessert. We'll just skip right to it. <laughs> our second season is airing right now, so you can catch up on our conversations that are intimate and often hilarious. Listen to Table for Two with Bruce Bozzi on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast. Hey, this is Justin Richmond, host of the Broken Record Podcast. Every week, I or my co-host, Leah Rose, sit down with the artists you love to get unparalleled creative insight. Our new series is looking at one of the most influential jazz labels ever, Blue Note Records. You'll hear from artists like legendary bassist Ron Carter, singer-songwriter Noah Jones, and guitarist Julian Lodge. Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey fam, I'm Simone Boyce. I'm Danielle Robay. And we're the hosts of The Bright Side, the podcast from Hello Sunshine that's guaranteed to light up your day. Check out our recent episode with dancer, actress, and host of Dancing with the Stars, Julianne Huff, revealing the healing journey behind her new novel, Everything We Never Knew. I am showing up for my younger self, and it is becoming a ripple effect energetically in my life, and that's why I feel so safe now. Listen to The Bright Side from Hello Sunshine on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.